You have probably long taken for granted that the magnitude of the gravitational field strength is 9.81 newtons per kg. But is it always the case at all regions around the Earth? Certainly not. At the North and South Poles, gravitational field strength is 9.83 newtons per kg. But at the equator, gravitational field strength is 9.79 newtons per kg. Yeah, this means that on the equator, you seem to weigh just slightly lighter compared to if you were at the poles. Why do you think this occurs? There are several reasons to this. Firstly, the Earth is not a perfect sphere, but instead it's an ellipsoid, flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. But what would this mean? This would mean that a point on the poles is closer to the dense core of the Earth than a point at the equator. Since we have already previously established that gravitational field strength increases as we go nearer to the core of the Earth, this would simply mean that the gravitational field strength at the poles would be greater. Well, all of you can certainly tell me that the Earth cons consists of wa water, land, rocks, minerals, so on and so forth. But are they of the same density? Definitely not. Hence, this simply means that the density of the Earth is not uniform, with the magnitude of the gravitational field strength differing due to, due to the different densities of the materials beneath the Earth's surface. Finally, the Earth is always rotating, allowing you to experience day and night. Guess what? This rotation of the Earth about an axis passing through the poles affects the gravitational field strength. How do you think that happens? Well, because of the Earth's rotation, the gravitational pull on the body at the equator has to provide the body with a centripetal acceleration so that the body at the equator can undergo circular motion. On the contrary, at the poles, the body is not undergoing circular motion. Hence, the body would not experience any centripetal acceleration.